be ye ensured that I will be as good unto you as ever a queen was unto her people. Queen Elizabeth is thought of as being a successful queen, and highlights of her reign include making the Church of England, which was Protestant. Catholic people did not support this decision. <laughs> In 1603, after Queen Elizabeth had died, James I would be made the next king. I will govern according to the common will, but not according to the common will. Many Catholic people hoped that King James would be more accepting of their religion than Queen Elizabeth was. But King James did not turn out to be more tolerant than Elizabeth. When 13 young Catholic men realised this, they decided that violent action was the answer. The group of men were led by a man called Robert Catesby. He was angry at King James for not accepting the Catholic faith and decided that he wanted to blow up the Houses of Parliament where the rulers of the country met to make important decisions. The men planted 36 barrels of gunpowder in the cell of the Houses of Parliament. The group knew that if they went through with blowing up this building, then the King, the Prince of Wales, and some members of parliament would be killed. When the group members realised that innocent people would be killed, they started to have second thoughts. Oh no. One of the group members decided to send a letter warning one of the members of parliament to stay away from the building on November 5th. This warning letter reached the king, and the king's forces made plans to stop the group of men blowing up the houses of parliament. One of the men in the group was named Guy Fawkes. Guy Fawkes was in the cellar with 36 barrels of gunpowder when the King's men stormed in. Guy was caught, tortured and executed. The people of London were told nothing of the situation other than that The King's been saved! In celebration of this, they joyfully lit bonfires in Thanksgiving. As the years progressed, People learned more and more of the story of the men who planned to blow up the Houses of Parliament, and so the bonfire celebrations became more elaborate and precise. For 400 years, bonfires have burned on November the 5th to mark the failed gunpowder plot. Soon, people began placing figures onto bonfires and fireworks were added to the celebrations. Modern preparations for bonfire night include making a dummy of Guy Fawkes, which is called the Guy. Children often make the dummy of Guy Fawkes and walk the streets carrying the guy they have just made. They ask passers-by for a penny for the guy. The children then use the money to buy fireworks for the evening festivity. On the night itself, Guy is placed on top of the bonfire, which is then set alight, and firework displays fill the sky. <laughs>